So, I've had a lot of people um, who are just starting to work with Santa Morte coming to me saying, oh my gosh, I think I'm doing things wrong with her. This book said this, this book says that. And this person says this, this person says that. Oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that with her. Um, Who says you can't do that with her? You know what I mean? It, this winds me up because what you read in books is from that actual author's perspective of how they work with her. You have your own, like bond with her if you feel that um she wants a certain thing on her altar you put that on that altar you know what i mean i don't follow stuff what people say oh you shouldn't put this on an altar you shouldn't do this with her you shouldn't do that with her if she doesn't like it she's gonna bloody let you know you know what i mean just because you've read certain what the heck's that i've got a dog fur under my fingernail nice one thanks well off um <laughs> yeah like all these books that you get, on no matter what deity, saint, or whoever you are actually working with, um, that is from that author's perspective. You don't have to take all of that on. They're just writing how, basically, it's their perspective of, um, <coughs> excuse me, how they work with her or whatever deity they are working with. That's how they work with them. If one thing says, oh, she loves apples. You have to give her apples. You have to give her cigar. You have to give her tequila. Or you have to give her rum. Or she likes a shot of, I mean, Sambuca, whatever. Like, if you don't have that, and they're saying, oh, you you have to. You have to give her that when she gives you, or when they give you what you want. No, you do not have to give them that specific thing. Your deity or whoever the heck you are working with understands, like, if you are on a budget, no matter what offering you give to that deity, they are going to be happy that it comes from your heart. Santa Morte, I can't get her her special cologne that other Santa Morte um, practitioners have. The Secho Matro, I can't pronounce it, my voice has gone funny. That one. I can't get it here in England. So I have actually got one. It's like an, um, a nice, like, ambery, um, Arabic kind of, like, I can't explain it. But it's very, very, like, a spicy scent. But I put it on, and for some reason, I was like, mm, that's not really what I like. I'll give it to Santa Morte. So I spray her with it. And she absolutely loves it. Oh my God, she loves it so much. And as soon as I spray it on her, within minutes, um, like, I have coffee and her coffee's gone down literally half. She absolutely loves it. Like, you do not have to go by what is in the book, what people are saying. Oh, you have to give her this. She has to have that. Oh, she has to have this and that. You can't give her that colour. You can't use that colour. Um, excuse me, like say if you work with any, like I said, this is not specifically to Santa Morte, this is to any deity or saint or whoever you are working with in your spiritual practice. Um, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's it'll be different with like Loa and um, the Odishas, that's different. Um, they only like specific stuff and then stick to that. But with deities um, and saints and stuff, they will see that you can't afford to get that expensive stuff like other people um, are getting. Um, you know what I mean? If you can only afford to get them some little candies or, um, or something like that, or a nice little candle or maybe a cigar once in a while, they're going to take that as that is an offering from your heart. Remember that. It's from your heart. You do not have to follow anything in the book. Like, same with, like, all these spell books that are out. Like, if you don't have a certain ingredient, and it's saying, oh, you need a red candle, and you start panicking, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I don't have a red candle. What the heck am I going to do? I can't do this spell. Oh, my God. You can do that spell. 
you have white candles. White candles can be used for anything. So do not panic. You know what I mean? You don't have to panic just because you've read it in a book. And it says, you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to give them this. You have No, you do not. If it's coming from your heart and you think that that deity would love what you've seen, then you give it to them as an offering. You, it drives me crazy when people are panicking because they're reading all this stuff. Oh, but they're only like this, they're only like that. It's your practice. Don't listen to other people. Oh, you can't have that one there, Walter. They don't like that. Um, I think they do. I have um, pink and white um, lilies on Santa Morte's altar. Some people put red roses. They're like, oh, you should have red roses on her altar. No. She specifically told me when I was in the store, I saw them from across. And I'm like, oh, Santa Morte would want that. She tells you if she wants something. You just It'll just come into your head. Same with any deity. They will, like, you could be randomly in the shop and then something will pop in your head and then you'll think of your deity. It's them telling you. So she has them on. She absolutely loves them. I have a skull. Just a, a figurine skull on my altar. Um, I have a citrine big point on there. She wanted that. Not something you normally see on her altar, but she wanted it. So she has it. I have um, a, a big, like, stainless steel, um, what is it? Goblet with lots of skulls on it. Um, my partner, he was out and he saw it and he thought oh Lisa might like that on her altar you know what I mean your deities will let you know you know what I mean you do not have to go out and spend thousands and thousands of pounds and hundreds of pounds and dollars and all that just to get all the stuff that you read in books you don't need it if you need a specific candle you don't need that you can use a white one like I said you don't need all this elaborate stuff. Your deities are going to be happy with whatever you offering you give to them. You know what I mean? And if they don't like it, they're going to let you know that you will know next time. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I look up the kind of foods that she likes, the kind of candies that she likes. Um, if I can't get those candies, I explain to her I can't get that candy. I will get you something else, um, a different kind of candy. And she's okay with that. She, she's not bothered. But, you know what I mean? Just because you're reading stuff in books, don't take it to heart as like, oh my God, I have to have that. If I don't get that, she won't like it. Um, I can't get this, I can't get that. You have to do this, you have to do... No, you don't. Same with spell books, like I said before. Um, that's from their perspective of how they do that working. But if you, like, like I said, if they're like, you need a green candle for money... And you don't have a green candle. You can use a white one. I'm just saying, don't take everything to heart. I mean, your deity will be okay with everything. With this economy that's going on now and the bloody um, cost of living at the moment, your deities understand, trust me. Yeah, trust me. Don't take things to heart, honestly. Have a nice day. Bye.